So it's finally here, the Caltech 3D scanning kit. This is the first 3D scanner I've ever owned, and I'm so excited. Caltech uh, had a Kickstarter campaign a couple months ago, and I was very lucky to be a early bird. And I was able to get this kit for under $100. This is the one without 3D printed parts, but this is my uh, first unboxing. Um, so first off, uh, I want to say the box is pretty nice. It looks like it did get um, knocked around a lot in shipping, so right over here. Um, but it is a really nice box. Uh, I was reading on the Kickstarter page. They did opt to get a nicer box, and it is very nice. It is shiny, and they did they put it in a nice box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. There we go. So the first thing inside, right on top, is actually the acrylic base. Uh, this is actually the, the turntable uh, that you'll put the part on top. And let's see. It's real nice and thick acrylic. But ooh, shiny. So there's there's the base. So that's the first part. We'll put it over the side. And then they have some instruction instructions. It looks like uh, the parts can only go in one way. And if you have any questions, please go to their website for their downloads. And talking about this is a class 3B laser, so don't look at it with your eyes. That's nice. They have some instructions on top. Oh, I wish there was some bubble wrap, but these are just as fun. So I'll put that to the side. And let's look at some of the pieces. It looks like they made this really nice base below, but maybe some of the pieces kind of got shifted in shipping. Yeah, that one looks like it should go down there, but let's look at the pieces. Here's the, the two, I think the laser arms. I think they hold the laser on, maybe. And then we have some really nice other laser cut parts, and these look really good. They look like they, they took their time and really calibrated in the machine, so there's some more laser cut parts. And let's uh, let's get all the laser cut parts out first. Let's get these boxes out of the way. So here's some more laser cut parts. Well, there's even some more at the bottom, but I think that's the back plate. They have some uh, pieces of or some magnets that are inserted in this piece. So that's that's pretty cool. They have embedded hardware. This one looks like it didn't get pushed in exactly right. Um, this is a cool thing. Maybe they glued these in. I hope they did. If this is uh, pressed in. Uh, there might be a possibility for this to snap, but we'll see. And there's another little piece. And let's let's get down to the bottom and see what's in the bottom of the box first. Ooh, so there's our laser cut piece of cardboard. Or somehow it was cut out. Put that to the side. And some more plexiglass. Something. Maybe this looks, looks like clear. And oh, calibration. This is for the calibration of the bed. And, oh, a nice piece of foam that goes on the top. So there's the piece of foam. So that is it out of the box. Let's put the box to the side. And let's look what's inside the boxes. So they did a really nice job. It looks like they did some homework and actually labeled each one of the boxes. That's that's great. That may, helps it out a lot. But let's see what's inside each box. So the first one says Uno, Shield, Stepper, Driver, Bearings, Laser Beams, and LEDs. So let's open it up and see what they did. Ooh, so that's really nice. They looks like everything is individually packaged. So that is the stepper driver. Not bad. Let's look inside here. They have the two lasers. They have the two lasers and, and the LEDs and, the, and then there's a stepper board. So ooh, that looks pretty good. They have this even this little cool little short little three LED surface mount LEDs that has to be soldered on or something but there's the the stepper driver board this is where this is where a good company and a startup will differ so let's see how how their board looks but looks pretty good stenciling looks pretty good let's flip it over and it looks pretty clean We'll see how it turns out, but that looks like a pretty good board. They did a great job there. Let's get down some more pieces of the box. And here's just the Uno. That's just a standard Uno. And wow, look at this ball bearing. Oh, man, that's some big money right there. This is a huge ball bearing. That's for the, for the bed. 
but I don't know if you can see that. Maybe the camera can capture it. But it is really, really silky smooth ball bearing. That is that is a nice, very nice ball bearing. Has a nice cage. They spent some money on that ball bearing. They really did. <sighs> nice ball bearing. That's that's a quality ball bearing right there. So let's put that box to the side. Let's look at the next one. This one says stepper motor hardware power supply and an Allen wrench. That's nice. They include the Allen wrench in there. But they have all the little screws to assemble. They have some standoffs, probably for the Uno. They have the Allen key. It's nice. And here is, oh wow, they really spent their time identifying each one of the screws so you cannot mess that up. They made nice stickers for them. And they were, oh man, they really spent some time making that nice. That's, that's really good, guys. Let's go down in here. Here's the wall wart. So it looks like they should use the standard wall wart with a round plug on it. It's good. And the last is the stepper motor. Looks like a, kind of a pancake stepper motor. But nice little stepper motor right there. R has the four pin connector, just like the uh, all the 3D printers use right now. And a nice little, nice little stepper motor. So that's inside that box. Let's move that one out of the way. And the last one is the camera and the USB cable. So let's see. I know they talked about they had some issues with the camera they chose. But here's the USB cable. Oh man, look at that. They got one of those really nice angled USB cables. They definitely did their homework with that because um, depending on how the board sits, that's it's a nice feature right there so it's not hanging off so that's the cable right there so it's a USB A to USB B plug Put that to the side and here is the camera HD 720 USB Logitech webcam and it sounds like they kind of bought every one of these that was possible but there's the camera it's a nice little camera right there so so that's the unboxing and that's that is really amazing that you can get all this stuff for under a hundred dollars I mean this is shipped to my door for under a hundred bucks look at all that so well I'm gonna do some assembly maybe some assembly videos but that's what you get with the Caltech laser engraving or um, laser scanning kit guys if you like my videos please subscribe um, if you have any questions about this kit, please uh, send them to me. I'll tell you how it turns out. And I guess I'm about to go 3D print all the parts. Y'all have a great day.